So I'm going to give you a nickname if you don't mind. I'm going to call you Goose. Okay. okay. And you've got this large patch on the side of your lower abdomen here. And you said it itches, but you've been using some over-the-counter medicines, and it, does it seem to be helping at all? No. Okay. Have you been uh, out of the country traveling or anything like that recently? No. Okay. Have you ever had anything like this before? No. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and say we have a pretty good idea what this may or may not be, but what I'm suggesting we do to be sure to confirm the diagnosis is do a little punch biopsy, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take in, uh, just a little piece of tissue and we're going to send it to the pathologist and have them take a look at it under a microscope and give us a, a, a tissue diagnosis, okay? Okay. All right. So we'll be back with you in just okay. a moment. We're rolling again with our friend Goose. We've got Gumby Jean. We've got... What was your nickname before? I can't remember. Linda never had a nickname? Well, Linda, one of our nurse practitioner trainees, has actually become an employee, hopefully what? hopefully to replace me soon. Where are you? <laughs> hey, I can hope. Uh, liquid nitrogen. No, not no. liquid nitrogen. This is our, our patient, Goose. Goose, you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube? You're okay with that? Yeah. We're not going to show your face. We're only going to show this area down here. And mm -hmm. we just talked about it. He's had this for, you said, about six to eight months. Yeah. And he's tried some over-the-counter stuff. Sure. I need a little uh, alcohol, alcohol swab, swab, please. So we're going to do a little punch biopsy right at the leading edge, right here. We're going to numb it up, and then we're just going to take a little piece of tissue. Let me get that back to you. All right. We've got Gumby Jean is going to spray. Hello, hello, hello. Right there for me. Over here a little bit more. I need to get the edge. There we go. That's good. That was cold, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Just giving you a little numbing medicine. Linda, all you want to do with this is just numb it up so you can use the punch biopsy tool. This does not require a lot of anesthesia, okay? I'm going to need a 4x4, four four, please, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So this is a very sharp 6 millimeter punch biopsy tool. I'm going to get right at the leading edge of this. I'm just pushing down while I twist gently. Don't have to go too deep. Just enough to get the get the sample. All right, and I'll need um, let me have those drivers. That'll work fine. That was supposed to be Linda's job was to get me the uh, forceps. So we're just going to grab that right there. And I'm going to take the scissors and just go right underneath. Snip that off. Maybe. Came right off, and we're going to put this in the specimen cup. I'm going to hand that to you and have you hand that back to me with a 5-0 uh, or a 4-0, whatever suture we have there. Good. That's right where we want that. That's right on the edge of that. So this will actually allow the pathologist to see the difference between the normal skin and the affected skin right. so I want to be sure that that's exactly what we're dealing with here okay mr. goose you still with me yes all right so this is a little 40 proline we'll just stitch that right up this stitch will stay in for a few days you can take it out you want or come back by and we'll take it out for you okay as soon as we get the results back we will call you and let you know what we need to do to treat this okay, okay. How was that? Was that bad? No, no. Not bad at all. Well, she'll put a Band-Aid on that, and you will be good to go. Thank you, Gundy Jean. Uh -huh. You're awesome as usual. Linda, you get to do the next one. She still won't talk. Okay. <laughs> all right. Mr. Goose, thanks for letting us record. Thank you. So far, I'm really loving this product. It's definitely helped me steer off of energy drinks, caffeine. That was my goal. I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more fit. So I would definitely recommend this product on Amazon. So catch me in the next three months, see how's it going. But so far, I'm loving this product. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin, extra virgin coconut oil, and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, 
stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chapped lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice, we'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90 day supply today.